Facebook Live, we have arrived. I want to thank everyone for chiming in. This is uh, Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on this uh, uh, Shabbat. So I definitely want to greet everybody with a Shabbat Shalom. Uh, let's get ready uh, to um, to get in to get in the Word. Hallelujah. Um, apologize for the tardy. You know things happen. But one thing about it, ain't nothing going to stop us. Ain't no stopping us now. Um, let's say a quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Help me to know how uh, in your presence, uh, depending on you, trusting you for a relevant word, then when we grow thereby, uh, continue to, uh, to deal with this, reveal truth to us uh, that we may walk circumspectly before you. Uh, forgive us for all sins, and we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. And we be careful for you to praise and honor our now and forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua Hamashiach, hallelujah. We humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Amen. Amen. What was that? Uh, Romans, Romans uh, six, 6 and. Uh, and uh, Um, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> 20, 6 and 20, Romans 6 and 20. Look what it says. Greetings, sis. How you doing? Good morning, uh, Big Sean. Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Uh, uh, 6 and 20. Look what it says. For when you were the service of sin... You are free from righteousness. For when you were to serve the sins, you were free from righteousness. Um, almost one up. So one is at the door. Yeah, they're not. Four. I heard that. For when you were see, for when you were free, for when you for 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 look what it say, look what it say. For when you were servants of sin, you were freed from righteousness. <laughs> For when, for when you were, when, for when you were the servant of sin, did you know there was no requirement for you? Right. We we trip out when the world say, you know, ain't no absolute, ain't no absolute truth, ain't no absolute righteousness, right? We 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 wanna we wanna go bananas, right? But 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 for them, I don't know how I can argue with it. Well, how can I argue with that? For look, the scripture said, "For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness." Do you? I don't see why not. But Paul Paul said, "If there is no no resurrection, right? If there's no death, burial, and resurrection, eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow we die." That's what Paul said, right? Mm -hmm. See, if it ain't real, do you? That's what he meant he said that? Yeah. Why, why not? There is no consequence. There is no get up. There is no eternal life. There is what? Born to die. Man, man, you talking about, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> why are you over here? Why are you over here? Look, look. Where people fall off because, like, they get they get naturally religious in thinking like there's a reward in being a goody two shoes or something like that, and there is none. There is, there's two different kingdoms going on. Period. There's two different kingdoms, right? One of the biggest tricks the devil ever did was convince people that he's not real, right? And so, 
because people just think it's just happenstance. When it's the the, the word snitches on I'm what's on going end. on before it even starts going on. And it does it too accurately to be just happenstance. Right? Just like people people get duped, right? People get duped uh through um trying to trying to um we 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 in Romans a uh, uh, six y'all, and we started at the, at the twentieth verse, right? But people get duped. You can show him, G man. But pe people people get duped, right? Because, like, look 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 at this. I'm gonna try to teach this for y'all, right? But listen to this, right? Like, like a game they play, right? Like, um, it's nothing wrong. Huh. It's just love. Like, you love who you want to love, right? All that is is love, right? We're living in times where they call good evil and evil good, right? It's been a reverse move, right? And so, and how they do it is in the name of love. In order, I want y'all, I want y'all to follow me on this, right? In order to call evil good. They say in the last day, they're going to call evil good and good evil. It's going to be a reverse. Well, how you do it is people got to believe that evil is good and good is evil. They have to believe it. It has to be a logical methodology behind it, right? Which puts in self-righteousness, but we'll, we'll deal with it, right? But, and so like you, you, you look at, you look at from an individual standpoint, <coughs> You know, I have the right to love whoever I want to love, right? So, you know, you know, my brother's a handsome dude, been there for me all my life. You know, I dig him, you know what I mean? And um, I, I decide I want, I want to marry him. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> Real love will make you put yourself out there. You know, I just jumped straight off the diving board into the pool and didn't know, didn't know how it was gonna work out. But back to my point. Everybody know me and him. No, I'm just I'm preaching. I ain't <laughs> ain't nothing happening. Believe me. But I'm gonna say what I'm saying. Is that all right? So, but not looking at the bigger scheme of things, right? People, 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 people believe, you know, that a right move without investigating the end of that move. There's an end game. The most high, right? Look, when you get saved, right? When you get saved, it's a faith thing. It's a trust him thing, right? The word clearly teaches about self-righteousness. It says our, our righteousness is as filthy rags, right? Me doing good deeds would satisfy me in the flesh, right? But it's not satisfactory at all. It's not satisfactory. And it's for a reason. Look. Y'all follow me. There's a lot going on, but I'm still going to focus, right? But listen. See, see, is the most high set tripping to the point that he say, my righteousness is the only righteousness because I'm Yah? Or is he saying my righteousness is the only righteousness because it's literally the only righteousness? And what we think is right ain't right. And what we believe is right ain't going to yield forth life. It ain't going to turn out right. It ain't going to be right because it ain't right. Even though it's right to us. It's self-serving. Are you following me? When we do what's right in our own eyes, please believe me, it's right in our own eyes because it's self-serving. It is self-serving, so it's easy to conclude that it's right for selfish reasons, right? So when, when we don't have a proper faith in the Most High and trust in Him, 
thereby trusting his methodology, right? We got to learn to trust his methodology because like trusting him is a faith thing. It, it's really, look, when he say, I'm, I'm trying to help y'all. When he say, when he say like, don't sleep with them, right? Premature. We can conclude, but I love them. See, that's self-serving. That's, that's, that's fleshly gratification. That's, that, that's feeding our lust. And then we rationalize it. I don't see the harm because I plan on marrying them. Right? Yeah, that's right. Stay with me. That, that's my, my goal is to marry. Okay. Well, give me one person to do that times a million. Now we got a million people that is fornicating. Put them in one community. Now that's a fornicating community. Because motel walls and doors separate the act, pop the rules off of it and see it from Yah's perspective is an orgy. It's not the building of love and family. It's lust. So, but, but the point I'm trying to push, y'all, I want you to hear this. That when we go after all righteousness, I'm telling you, even from a religious standpoint, it's not right. We just think it is from a carnal standpoint. And we got to learn how to trust him because when one said, I wanted, I want to love who I love. It seems logical and right. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> I love them, right? I don't love them. I love, I love. <laughs> the word foretold of the times when people would do that, number one. And it's coming to pass. But what is the end game? And what is it really doing? So, they added letters. They added letters. So now children is in danger. People want to make love to children. Animals in danger. bestiality because now people want to make love to animals. All in the name of doing what's right. Loving who I want to love. Doing what I want to do. Look. So here we go. I'm snitching on the carnal thinking. Right? For a reason. I'm snitching on the carnal thinking for, 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 for a reason. Right? Because I, I want to show the switch in, um, I want to show the switch from in the days we're living in where they call evil good and good evil. So one first got to be convinced that good is evil and evil is good. It's not like arbitrarily, it's deeper than force, even though there is force behind it. We're getting to the point that when they call evil good, you better, you better do it too. Because if not, it will cost you your freedom and potentially your life. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to ask y'all that don't have to move, that don't have to, don't do it again. If you don't have to. Don't do nothing courteous, nothing, just be still because I'm trying to teach and it's disturbing me. On, I'm not saying if you gotta move. I just want to teach y'all. I just want to say that. The word said, "Keep your feet in the house of Yah." To be honest, but and I know a lot is going on, but I'm telling you, it's, it's starting to bother me. I'm trying to throw me off from teaching. No disrespect intended. But listen, the switch from good to evil <laughs> and good—that's <laughs> funny, yeah. The, the switch. From, from good to evil and evil to good is a smooth process and it's subtle. It is sneaky.
And one that participate in the deceitfulness in that process has to be one that don't have the proper faith in the most high. Their, their faith isn't in what he say. Their faith is in, in, in their interpretation of what's right. Now, when you know Yah, you know that he told us what was right and it's for our good. And it's for the good of the world. Period. No gray area. But because we're finite, we don't know that. And the lack of faith will then cause us to start pursuing our own righteousness. Mm -hmm. Doing, doing what's right in our own eyes. Okay. I'm lining this up. I'm going to read the scripture again. Listen. Look what it say. Romans 6 and 20. Look what it say. It say, For when you were the servants of sin, you were freed from righteousness. I'm going to keep reading, but I just want to really pull this out, right? For, you, for when you were the servants of sin, you were freed from righteousness. There's a course that is going on from the rulers of this world that are free from righteousness. Righteousness, they don't pass laws based on Yah and what's right. They pass laws that are self-serving. And we're headed in a certain direction. When, you, when you're dealing with principalities in high places, spiritual wickedness in high places, those are governmental structures that's anti the most high, anti his word, not led by his spirit. But they're governing. And we probably all can admit we're headed to some dark times. We're headed towards destruction. It's not looking good. And it's not looking good because, to be honest with you, they're freed from righteousness. <coughs> Those of us that accept him, that's a, it's a whole nother ball game. Because each path, each world, each separation, there's a separation of worlds, right? Look, being born again, that's another world. The first birth was natural. It was carnal. The, the, the first birth, we were all born in sin. We were all born in sin. We were shaped in, in, in iniquity, which is sin. <laughs> That's how we were raised. Natural. We, we, we live by what we saw, what we smell, what it tastes like, what it sounds like, and how we feel. Our Adam nature, the fallen nature of man, that sinful nature. But when you receive him, you're born again. Before that, you were free to live by your senses, how you saw it, how you felt about it, how it looked to you. You were free. The righteousness of the most high, you didn't have nothing to do with that. You could glean from it to get your own interpretation and your own righteousness. Heck, you can go take a yoga class and get you some little, get in shape and be able to bend like a pretzel and say something slick, something that sounds wise, <laughs> Confucius. You can, you can hit the Zodiac and get you a little bit, read the horoscope. You can go get you a, uh, 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 what you call them, Ouija board, get your palm read. You were freed from the righteousness of Yah. You were led by yourself. You, you was able to do whatever the heck you wanted to do. If 10 people was willing to go in the room and lather up and just start rubbing on each other, just go do it. If you, if you pay for the room or sneak in, sneak in the room, they don't know you're in there. I don't know. You were freed from the righteousness of y'all. Smoke it. Drink, shoot it in your arm. Do you? Cuss them out. Fight. Can you fight? Don't fight if you can't fight. Or fight. Swing anyway. I don't know. Roll the dice, baby. Swing. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. But you was freed from righteousness. But I promise you this. It was leading you somewhere. Is leading the world somewhere. And how you escape it is through faith. Through trust. The best array. Right? The gospel. The gospel come to rescue us from all of that. And the rescue mission comes through faith. Through trust in the most high. For I'm not talking that religious stuff. Miss me with that. The church, the lying church cat. Miss me. I ain't interested. 
The for the fornicating church goer, I'm not I'm just not interested. I ain't got time. I don't I don't have time to play church games and, and, and having a form of yawning is denying the pot. Either I'm gonna live it or I'm not. And if I'm not gonna live it, you know it. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna be sneaking and having no women. I'm gonna have them and I'm gonna be proud about it. I'm patting them in front of you and smiling about it and fire my pistol off in the air and, and hit the Hennessy. Why, why sneak? I'm too old to be sneaking and, and, and shucking and just lying. And I'm like, man, this is what it is. Pop the collar, holler. But if we're going to live the thing, let's live it. If we, if we, if we, if we, if we, if we look, 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 look what the scripture saying. Look, look what it say. It said, for when we were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. No absolute truth. You're right. Ain't no, not in your world. It ain't. Whatever feels right to you, do it. <laughs> Whatever, and then it's going to be a conflict because that's what, when you're free from righteousness, it's, it's, it's confusing and it's conflict. <laughs> right? I can't tell you you're wrong because it was right in your eyes. So you slapped me. I can't say it's wrong because it was right in your eyes. You felt like I needed to get slapped. Uh, you stole something from me. I can't say it's wrong because <laughs> I guess you felt you needed it more than me. I don't know. Everything is everything when it ain't no absolute truth. Just everybody got their own truth. Because when we were in sin, when we were the servants of sin, we were free from righteousness. Look what the next verse says. Look. What fruit have you then in those things whereof you now are ashamed? And the end of those things is death. What fruit, right? Like church, right? <laughs> okay, here I go. Sorry, you know, I just... But... Who, who's building a platform of religion while going against the Most High? Where'd that come from? Who preaching that? Who preaching go to the strip club Saturday night and come lay at the altar and cry and sing songs about it Sunday morning? That's that's is that what it is? Wait a minute, is that an organization? Is that some man mess? Or is that what the book is teaching? Because the, the book is teaching that when you were a servant of sin, you were freed from righteousness. You don't have to do what's right. So a bunch of servants of sins are now running the house of prayer? Is that what it is? No examples. Nobody living nothing. There's no standard. It's just everything is everything. The book teaches against that. When you were a servant of sin, do you. But 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 when you receive him, it's a whole nother bargain. You're born again. If any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We're a new creation in him. We don't get out like that no more. So the, so so then the word says we should be ashamed. Where are you finding the fruit, your life, your moves, your daily activities, and the things you should now be ashamed? We did some shameful stuff, didn't we? Oh, you want to talk about me? You can't never accuse me of being in love with my brother. <laughs> that wasn't one of them. But I did some shameful things. Some awful things. If a movie screen just popped up right here, I'd put up the Baptist finger and tip up out of here. Big y'all turn it off. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> some popcorn. You might. <laughs> but come on, somebody. Look, it says, the book says, what fruit have you then? Meaning, what it's really talking about is what joy or what benefit do you have from that lifestyle now? <clears throat> How does that, how, you know, ex-pimps and players and divas and gangsters and, and liars and con artists and manipulators and arthritis. child molesters and... Huh? Arthritis. Ah, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> that, that's another lesson. Yeah. But what fruit? What, 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 what benefit? What benefit do you have in the things that you're now ashamed? You don't need to be gathering, celebrating... That should be ashamed of it. 
Church isn't coming to the altar and crying about some crap you're going to turn around and do Monday or that evening. Right. And after church. For the rest of the week. Until next Sunday. Oh, it's the truth anyhow, y'all. Okay. What, what fruit have you then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? And then he tells you this. For the end of those things is death. All right. Like, for us to educate ourselves, right? Because it don't, don't do nothing but help us, right? Once you're born again, right? Say you accept him as master of your life and you're born again, right? Okay, you see the course of the world and you now know scripturally that they're freed from righteousness. So they can't be your measuring stick, nor can they be your motivation. They can't, you cannot listen to what they talking about and think it's going to turn out right because it isn't. It, 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 those things lead to death, period. They're free from righteousness. They're free to go about their own righteousness. Their own righteousness then becomes the righteousness that's promoted, that's marketed, that's in schools. It's the ideology of the masses. Straight and narrow is the path to lead a life and few to be defined. It. The masses is being deceived and deceiving, the word says. You got lying politicians. Everyone got ul ul ulterior motives. Everybody's in danger. Because of the wicked regimes. I know them that say they are Jews and are not, but they're synagogue of Satan. You got the devil running it from a religious standpoint, from a political standpoint, from a, he didn't just, he didn't swept across and people was deceived because they switched their righteousness as the true righteousness and now Yah's righteousness is now evil. And people believe it too. You got people under delusion trying to figure out what right is and they go into man. They go into their own intellect. Well, the word says there's a way to see right onto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. It says the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. Our regular stinking thinking goes against Yah. The only way you can understand Yah is by receiving the spirit of Yah. And the only way you'll get the spirit of Yah is if you repent. And what causes you to repent is being a believer. I believe him. That's the truth anyhow. Something about the word I believe. I believe. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to the point that I'm willing to die. And I'm not talking about the natural death right now. But that's applicable too. I'm talking about spiritually I'm willing to die to who I was to become who I should be in him. And the things that I used to do, I'm now ashamed because he's shining the light on it. Right. In my heart. I didn't point right here. This is your own. Come on, y'all. This is pump blood. Mm -hmm. In my heart. What fruit have ye then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin. Did y'all hear that? But now being made free from sin and then become the servants to Yah, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Everlasting life is, live, is living a life pure before the most high. Not sin again, repent again, sin again, repent again, sin again, repent again. You super scandalous. I'm confused. I don't know if I should buy, uh, 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 pick up the Bible that's next to you or the bag of weed in the, in the <laughs> next to you. I'm confused. Well, let's do both. Let's smoke and read. <clears throat> let's cuss and... Mm -hmm. I'm on it. Come on, let me go. Let me go. But I'm on it. Come on, y'all. I can't indulge in the things that I'm now ashamed. I'm ashamed. I can't live like that. Look. Look what he said. Now being made free from sin. How am I free from sin? Did y'all know James 1 and 12 say, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. When I'm born again, let me tell you what happens, right? 
he baptized his spirit inside of me, right? And the word in Acts says, you shall receive power after the Ruach HaKadosh has come. That's Holy Spirit in Hebrew, what it actually really is, right? But after his spirit has come upon you, you receive a power that you didn't have before, right? So it doesn't force you to do anything. It gives you the ability to do. Right. It don't force you to do nothing. He stand at the door and knock. He said, if any man hear my voice and open, I'll come in. Mm-hmm. He didn't kick the door in like people be saying, oh, I didn't want to be said. I didn't want to be a preacher. He made me. Man, gone with that dumb stuff. It's not true. If he was making folks, folks wouldn't be running around here sinning. He made you be a preacher, but he couldn't make you stop sinning. Then you don't make no sense. If you willingly sin, and you're going to willingly obey him and be a preacher if he call you to be one. How about that part? Let me see. But now being made free from sin. Because he baptized himself inside of me, I now have the power to tell myself no. If I'm willing to. Blesses the man that endured temptation. The temptation come. We in this evil body. We in this body that's tempted with evil. We have evil desire. The temptation will come. But blesses the man that endure it. I ain't giving in. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not doing that. Right. Blesses the man that endure temptation. For for he shall receive a crown of life. So for 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 blesses the man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, when he is tested, he shall receive a crown of life, which Yah has promised them that love him. He said, "If you love me, keep my commandments. Do what I say." So I got to endure. I got to constantly make up my mind that I'm going to do what's right. And he baptized himself inside of me, the Ruach HaKadosh, his spirit inside of me to give me the power to do what I want to do, if I want to do it. Knowing that I'm going to be tempted. And I got to just be willing to tell myself no. That's why the Messiah said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. Either I'm going to cuss you out or I'm not. I feel like it because I don't like what you did. But blesses the men that endure. I'm not. Because how I used to talk and act, I'm ashamed. Because when I was a servant to sin, I was freed from doing what's right. I'm going to cuss you out. After I knock you out, I don't mind you don't hear the cuss words. At this point. We were free. From doing what's right. Going around telling people with bullhorns, you know, telling people they should, be, look, they, they need to become a believer. They need to know the Messiah died on that tree for their sins. And they need to receive him. Then you become a servant of righteousness. Because you willingly chose him as master of your life. If you ain't choosing him as master of your life, then everything is everything. Ain't that what it said? For when you were the service of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had, had ye then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and becoming the service of Yah, I am mandated to obey him. I can't live like that no more. I'm mandated. I can walk away from him if I want to, though. I ain't got to listen to him. I made a vow to him, I can take it back. I can change my mind. I can decide that, man, I'm done with this. Is it ladies' night at the, at the thing? I can change my mind. I can, go to, I can go get drunk right now. I can go check a f- f- few folks that I believe owe to the game. We back game driven now. You violated the rules of the game. I can do that. Or I can choose to serve the most high. I, I, I render myself, I used to be a servant to sin, living in wickedness and whatever I felt, that's what it was. But now I'm freed from that. I'm freed from sin. The clutches of my old stinking thinking don't have power over me no more because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I got a power greater than my evil, wicked desires living inside of me, prompting me. Being led by his spirit, the word teaches. 
They that are led by his spirit, they're his children. They're his sons, his daughters. They obey him. They follow him. Not having a form of Yahliness, a religious devil. <laughs> no, plenty of them. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to be another one. I'd rather preach in a way that would deliver them, to give them the opportunity to leave religion and, and come to a true relationship, to be rescued from this wicked place. This place ain't nothing but a holding cell, for the lack of a better term. It's a trying ground. It's a trying ground where you're going to be tested to see whether you would obey him or not. Everyone to hear the word don't belong to him, but those that have an ear to hear what the Ruah, what his spirit is saying to the Ecclesia, that's us, the body. The word is gone, gone out. And he said, my sheep hear my voice. Somebody got an ear. Scandalous as heck like I was, I'm sure. But, but that word came. Huh? It's sheep. Huh? Then we become ashamed of how we used to live. I ain't living like that no more. That stuff was shameful. Treating people like that. Treating women like that. Treating myself like that. Treating my neighbor like that. Treating my community like that. Shameful. <laughs> now being made free from sin and becoming a service to Yah, you, uh, uh, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. That's your everlasting life, y'all. Last verse. For the wage of sin is death. Hey, they, they flipped the script. They call evil good and good evil, right? The gospel didn't change, right? The wage of sin isn't death anymore. Let them tell it, right? <laughs> We're sinners saved by grace. Once saved, always saved. You just accept Jesus as Lord and you good. <laughs> that was slick, wasn't it? Sad part about it is it worked. That's why you got some of the most lawless people in church. Sneaking deacons. Freaking sneaking deacons. <laughs> yeah, you met them. You must have been on their Facebook page. <laughs> Pimping preachers. Got preachers running around here, brother man buff with a beard and a purse. Dude, I'm confused. <laughs> Self-made morphodite. Balfamet. <laughs> the wage of sin is death. Look around you. Can we all admit that this is a sinful world we live in? Then all you see is death. And it's on the horizon. And is things getting better or worse? worse. You better wake your game up. Hey, United States just left the uh, hum 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 Humane Council at the UN last Tuesday. They say they left because of fake Israel. I know they didn't say they are Jews, but are not. But are the synagogue of Satan, the ones that control all the banks and the money and all the media and the movies and the record labels? <laughs> the record labels that saying uh, uh, the ones that are they, they look it up they left the humanitarian piece for the civil rights of people in America so they're no longer mandated to to honor your civil rights any of your rights at that at that matter whatever they do is just done they setting it up they've been setting it up they were setting it up Israel is in trouble whether you know you Israel or not but the people is in trouble. Any believer got a problem about right now. Because, anyway. The wage of sin is death. The course of this world is headed towards death. Do not get it twisted. And you can go with them if you want. Or admit you've been going with them and quit. Before it's everlasting too late. Listen to them. Listen to that crazy backward psychologist, the psychiatrist. Listen to that dumb stuff they're talking about. Listening to the uh, legalizing of Satanism. Being a Satanist is legal now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's legal. I, they recognize it as a religion. They just did that a few days ago too. But I'm not even talking about that. 
Yeah, the, 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 the government here just recognized that Luciferian situation, I believe it's in San Francisco, whatever, but it's a legal recognized religion. Things will get funded now. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get money and, and, and the whole nine yards. But see, I'm I'm talking about even deeper than that though. That's just like a, no. a thumbnail for you, mm-hmm. you know, to yeah. what's really going on, right? I already have the it's, church. I know, been had it. I know exactly where it is. Yeah. So. So so I know. So 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 so. But but they but they, but they, but but see it's again, I'm talking method on whatever level I preach it right now, right? On whatever level I'm led to, the Most High is pushing me to talk on it. It's the it's switching evil from good and good to evil. Right. And then you get bombarded since you were self-serving and wanted to do you. You didn't know the real agenda. Doing us don't work. The word teaches that our righteousness is as filthy rags, right? And filthy rags are like a, a dirty tampon, to be honest. Used. Mm-hmm. used mm. Y'all got dirty stuff, too. I'm just telling you what the word said. That's how I'm just preaching. Like a filthy jock strap or something. The word said. Like a filthy tampon? Yes. That's what the word said. And, but see, the, the comparison analysis is our righteousness, right? So... And look at it, but look at this. I want y'all to get the understanding, right? The understanding is this: when you think you're doing right and it goes against the word, it's filthy. Right. That's the only thing he really trying to tell you. <laughs> he used parables and shadows and types mm-hmm. to tell you something. No, do what I say. Do is what he really trying to tell you. Right. Don't do what you think is right. Do what I know is right. Oh, come on. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. And when you got people start doing what they think they do, then they look up. I didn't intend for this to happen. Yeah, now they having sex with children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Legally, right. Now the poodle is in trouble. Mm-hmm. You hear that poodle? Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dog lovers crying. Every- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they slid that letter right next to your letter. <laughs> Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You sound just like a dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Divine intervention. Y'all's helping me. Teach this lesson. In the hands of the wrong owner. The wages of sin, hear me, y'all. The wages of sin is death. The climate that we're headed to is destruction and death. Collectively and individually. How you live it? Collectively and individually. It's the individuals that make the collective. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't act like you appalled about it and you do it. <laughs> Kids in trouble around you. <laughs> hmm. The wages of sin is death. Right now. And futuristically, too. The course of the people that's freed from righteousness. Get that. Run into somebody's self-righteousness and not doing it Yah's way. Not doing it the word way. Not led by the spirit. Doing it their way. Well, how I see it, I don't care how you see it. You don't see how people seeing it, what it's doing? The destruction? You don't see that? Ruin your own doggone family with how you saw it. <laughs> Ruin your own life <laughs> by how you saw it. We need to surrender, y'all. What they like to call it, the higher power? <laughs> you, we need to surrender to the higher power because our, our power tripping. You got folks that's doing them and then have nightmares based on what they've done. <laughs> In the name of trying to help themselves, you ain't doing nothing but hurt yourself. You're destroying yourself. The devil will use you to kill your own dog on self. That's true. For you trying to do what's right in your own eyes. I know what to make it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. I know why. <coughs> Watch, I'm going to be happy. What? Mm-hmm. Keep on trucking. Remember that song? Keep on yeah. trucking, baby. Before you hit a wall, you better wake up. 
Because the paycheck, the consequences of sin, doing it your way, is death. I can't. I, I, I gotta give me a job. Okay, go get it. Do you? You ain't gonna do it his way? Oh, you got a better way? Oh, okay, cool. Another wall, huh? You ain't learned yet, huh? You will. I pray. Because if you don't, some people die like a fool. Word says, wide is destroyed. I'm finna close, y'all. But the word says, wide is the road to lead to destruction. Mm -hmm. And straight and narrow is the path leading life for you to be defined. The wide road is where this untoward generation is headed globally. They're headed the wrong way. Destruction is coming globally right now. You watch the news, you read, or you learned. Do you pay attention? I'm not mad at more science when it comes to the logistical piece of the birth certificate and the social security card and how they hijacked this land and repainted the Indian. I get it all. I hear you 100% from a logistical situation. You're trying to get your paperwork in order. What you going to hand it? What you going to hand the paperwork to the devil with the guns that hate you? And what are going to do? Say, so, oh, I didn't see this paper. Put, the, put that AK down. <laughs> I didn't see this. They'll kill you. They ain't tripping off you and your paperwork. They're crooks. The devil worshippers. There's a course of evil this place is going. I'm not mad. I'm not trying to talk nobody out of doing your paper. Do you. But the believer going to do y'all and going to get to the root of the real problem. And the real problem is evil, wickedness, a.k.a. sin going against the most high. Period. That's the problem. Get logistical. Get educational. Go to school. Get the degree. Slap it on the wall. We need him. The problem started in the garden when Adam and Eve went against the Most High. And we headed to the conclusion. Choose a side. And this fake side, this fake religious world that offers a false <laughs> a false sense of security sinner saved by grace is an oxymoron doesn't even make any sense the word said forget what they talking about the preacher and his congregation the word said when we were service to sin we were freed from righteousness do you no come see what the, see what the end gonna be the word told you what the end going to be. The way of sin is death. Be wicked. Be evil. Feel good. Do it feel good? You getting paid? You making money? Mm, okay. Take your vitamin C. Be green. Go help the whales. You're going to answer to him later. Or repent. Those that belong to him are going to repent. The true believer is going to <coughs> surrender all to him. He to seek to save his life, don't lose it. But he to lose his life, I'm done with this place. I've been done for a minute. And every day go by, I want to be done there. Today, I, I, I plan to be super done. Super done. I don't want this place. I want him. I want, I want to serve my term here. I want, I want to worship him and praise him. I want to preach the truth. And I want to live it until he come get me. I don't want nothing to do with this joker. They got a bunch of poison jumping off. Them jokers took over the movies. They took over the music. They took over the food, the water. <laughs> they armed to the teeth. They're liars and manipulators. Oh, they, it's terrible down here right now. We need a savior. We need a savior. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I'm going the everlasting life route. The Mashiach defeated death for us. He died on that tree for our sins. All we got to do is bring it to him and say, I'm done. Repent, turn.
You turn, turn, turn around and, 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 and head towards your creator. Only thing we got to be responsible for is what we did. And admit it. And then forsake it. Stop doing it. Repent. Accept him as master of your life. For real. Not having a form. But the real thing. Who want a counterfeit? Who wants some counterfeit money? I ain't got no real money. On payday, I'm going to get Meet me in the office. I just got some ink. Meet me in the office. I'm feeling, how much you want? I was going to give you 200 real dollars, but I'm in a good mood. Now, how much you want? I owe you. Oh, no, no. I'll pay you now. <laughs> what color you want? <laughs> no, who wants the real thing? I don't, I man, sit up in church listening to that. No, man, I'm cool. <laughs> Choir singing and all, false, false sense of, and then I'm going to finish going back into sin? Nah. Man, I ain't got time for it. I That teaches all. I ain't got time for it. The choir don't sound that doggone good. I'd rather listen to a CD. That sound better. Then to sit up, sit around, and play games and, and, and be religious. I just don't have time for it. If, I, if I'm going to leave here and finish sinning, then I ain't coming here in the first place. That's just me, though. I'd be sending right now. I'm not going to pause. <laughs> pause? No commercial break. Oh, no. Hey, all gas, no brakes. I ain't even got no brakes in the car. I'm out of here. <laughs> 90 going north. <laughs>